This is a robot we built to train Bao. And this is Bao. She's home alone, and lucky for her, not home alone too, lost in New York. Now this footage may not look exciting, but this was her three days ago. After months of building and testing, can robots train Bao? Let's build it. Bao has separation anxiety, so whenever we leave her at home, she barks loudly, potentially disrupting neighbors, and can sometimes harm herself or property. We've tried everything the professionals recommend, from providing freshly worn clothes before we leave, to anxiety vests, anxiety medicine, pheromone diffusers, blindfolds, and dog trainers, and nothing has worked. So today, we're going to try to solve Bao's separation anxiety with engineering. We want to find a solution that will keep Bao safe, keep Bao quiet, keep property safe, keep summer safe, and preferably work quickly because both of us will be working in person soon. We'll start off by first observing Bao's symptoms of separation anxiety when she's in her crate versus out of her crate. We determined that she barks about twice as often in her crate at a rate of 18 to 40 barks per minute versus 9 to 18 barks per minute out of her crate. From our initial experience with Bao out of her crate, we've seen her chew on the doors. If we're going to have her out of the crate, then we're going to need to figure out how to prevent her from chewing on the doors. And I've got an idea. This gate will hang from the doorknob and block the part of the door Bao likes to chew. And since it's attached to the door, we can still open and close the door just fine. Testing this out over the next few days, it actually seems to work. Until it didn't work. Check out our door repair video for how to fix this. We'll go back to testing in the crate for now. Bao only barks when we're gone, so we can't be there to train her and tell her no when she barks. We found this humane collar on the internet that beeps and vibrates when she barks to help train and discourage her from barking. Let's test it out first to ensure it's humane. Yeah, it just beeps and vibrates. We'll try it on Bao. So, that just made her more anxious. Plus, the collar didn't beep and vibrate after every bark, so Bao might not have made the connection that her barking caused a vibration. We like the idea of the collar because it's humane. However, since it's not consistent, it's ineffective. Let's build our own robot based on this idea. There's two parts to this robot. The first part is the audio to tell her no, and the other part will reward her good behavior with the treat. We'll work on both parts simultaneously. We'll start with this prototype running off an Arduino. Whenever Bell barks, we'll play an audio clip of us saying no, and when she's quiet for a length of time, it'll tell her yes. This should be more consistent than the caller was, and more comforting with Dada's voice. Let's try it out. It actually seems to be working a bit. Bao's a lot calmer, laying down, and more relaxed. It's still very inconsistent. Yep, definitely need to fix that. We adjusted the sensitivity in code. Let's try it again. While we observe Bao, let's also take a look at the reward side. We wanted the robot to dispense Bao's favorite treats from Pupford. We're trying to keep the design simple and reduce moving parts. The Pupford training treats will funnel down here, and then the servo will rotate to dispense a treat. We'll get that fully built and try it out later. Back with the audio, it's still inconsistent. Part of the problem is the hardware. These analog sound sensors are not very sensitive. The sensors have a diaphragm inside, and when sound is present, the diaphragm vibrates, creating a change in voltage. For the best results, Bao has to face the sensor directly. If the sound is coming from the side, it's not detected as well. A fun idea we want to try is to use this parabolic dish we 3D printed. It works similarly to a satellite dish or one of those fun spy toys you may have had as a kid. 
and went around the neighborhood to eavesdrop on everyone and accidentally learned you're adopted. Yeah, so let's test this out. It helps a bit, but I think we can still do better. And I've got one more idea. We built this remote sound sensor pack that Bao will wear. This way, it should hear her regardless of where she's facing, and it plans for eventually testing outside of her crate. When it detects a bark, it will send a signal to the main robot. Let's give it a try. While we observe, let's jump back to see how the treat dispenser's coming along. So it works the first few times, but stops after a while. The treats are getting jammed in the funnel, like it's Black Friday at Walmart, and they've got a deal on wolf shirts. We tried adding an agitator, which helped a bit, but it still eventually jams. We're going to have to redesign this from the ground up. So at this point, we've been running the robot for several weeks. Bao has grown accustomed to the nose of the robot, and now ignores it. She's back to barking up to 40 times per minute. We'll address this issue later. The remote sound sensor, however, is working great. It's picking up every bark. And within five minutes, she's managed to take it off and tried to smother it, like it stole her man. To try to prevent Bao from ignoring the nose, we'll add more audio tracks of us saying no in different languages. Keep Bao guessing. Like Italian. No. And Spanish. No. We'll also make the yeses more enticing by adding an audio of us praising her like an empress, as suggested by one of our followers on Instagram. Yes! If you have ideas you'd like to see us build, be sure to leave a comment, and you just might see us bring it to life. So we've got the new food dispenser built. This wheel will spin until a sensor detects a Pupford training treat is loaded in the staging area. And then when Bao earns a treat, this ramp opens to dispense the treat into her bowl. This is so much more reliable. Yes. Alright, let's try it all together outside of her crate. In the first 30 minutes, Bao has only barked three times. This is incredible progress for her. Now, if only we can end the video here and say it works. But after more use of the robot, Bao has gotten used to it and once again ignores it. Chows. From what we can tell, we're going to have to continually iterate to keep her from getting used to it. So be sure to subscribe to see how this develops. Now, if you don't have the time to build a robot to train your dog, Pupford not only sells tasty treats for your pup, but they also have a free training app that gives you access to training videos and ebooks, a community of other pup parents, and so much more. We like to use the sounds in the app to desensitize bows from common everyday noises. Download the app from your favorite app store today. Link in the description.